What is Tsunami Drawback? By Will Bond. What is a tsunami? A tsunami is a Japanese word that means harbor wave. Many people refer to a tsunami as a tidal wave. But waves that are on the beach, like everyday waves, are actually created by the wind, and tides are created by the moon's gravity. A tsunami is like a wave train, and usually occurs in the ocean, but can sometimes occur in large lakes. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, underwater explosions, including the detonation of a nuclear device, landslides, and meteorite crashes, can all cause tsunamis. Some scientists call tsunamis seismic sea waves. Tsunamis generally have a small amplitude offshore, amplitude meaning height. When the tsunami reaches shallower water, it grows in height. Scientists discovered that extremely large landslides and volcanic island collapses could produce mega tsunamis that could travel transoceanic distances. Everyday waves can travel about 330 feet and are about 2 feet in height. Tsunamis can travel 120 miles, and such a wave can travel at 500 miles per hour. Due to the enormous wavelength, it could take 10 to 30 minutes to get the amplitude of one meter. That is why boats in the deep water can never detect tsunamis. As the wave gets closer to shore, the wave speeds decrease to about 50 miles per hour, but the height grows enormously, as shown in this picture. When an earthquake occurs in the ocean, a tsunami occurs like this. First, there is a slow bending that occurs. Next, the plates get stuck and energy is stored. Then, the energy overpowers the rock, creating an earthquake. Last, the disturbance releases so much energy that the tsunami waves go separate waves and the tsunami occurs. About 80% of the tsunamis that have occurred are in the Pacific Ocean. Tsunami destruction. Tsunamis can cause mass destructions, and the wave can destruction could span over thousands of miles inland. Tsunami waves can take entire buildings down and make towns look like a nuclear war zone. They can also bend parking meters all the way down to the ground, and lift boats high out of the water and violently throw them on the shore. What is drawback? Tsunami drawback is when the water at the beach gets sucked down into the ocean. This is actually part of the tsunami wave. Much of the beach is exposed, and animals, seashells, and rare things that you might not see at everyday beach life are able to be seen. Observers at the beach can usually hear a sucking sound out on the water. If people at the beach want to survive the tsunami, they would immediately have to run to higher ground or get to a high level of a nearby building. In 2004, on the Boxing Day tsunami. Tilly Smith from England was on Maikeo Beach in Phuket, Thailand, with her family. Having recently learned about tsunamis in school, she had warned her family that there might be a tsunami coming. Her parents warned many others and saved many lives from the wave that day. But Tilly credited her her geography teacher, Mr. Andrew Kearney. Dark buoy system and the correct response to a tsunami. The dark buoy system is a system that consists of an anchored seafloor bottom pressure recorder that records the seismic waves on the bottom, which then sends a message to a buoy at the top of the ocean surface. From there, the buoy sends a satellite message to the top to a satellite up in space. Then, the satellite sends the recorded seismic waves to a national buoy center, which then notifies people along the coast that there might be a tsunami coming. These buoys are lo- mostly located in the Pacific Ocean, and some are in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, as well as the Arabian Sea. The correct response to a tsunami is to run to higher ground and not to collect seashells when the drawback occurs. If you see any of these signs, please be aware and do not ignore them; like nothing will happen. Also, if there are boats following the sea, be aware that there might be a tsunami coming. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you learned about tsunamis, tsunami drawback, tsunami destruction, and the dark buoy system. Also, the correct response to a tsunami. Thanks again for watching, and hope you have a great day.